Hello, welcome to a new video on my tattoo channel. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm being weird. Uh, so basically, this is the last bit of fake skin I've got. Um, you can see I've used it to just practice different techniques and stuff. Practice uh, some, yeah, practice. Uh, this was actually used with the uh, Bishop One Shader. You can see how hard it was to do that. Um, but the CNC weed tattoo machine that I use today and what I've been using the past few sessions have been, uh, have been pretty, um, pretty good. Well, a actually it's unreal, um, extremely hard like, and, and there's night and day difference between the prices. But today I'm going to show you how I tattoo, uh, on fake skin. This is my stencil. I'm just going to do this. I'm probably going to tattoo this tomorrow, show you guys. So it's like, it's good things like this different shapes, lines, you can, this is going to be solid black. So there's, there's everything in this tattoo that you would need to learn um, well. Um, so in these parts, I'm going to be shading it around the eye. I'm going to be smooth shading it and then obviously shading the inside. And then there's line work in here. There's packing, there's shading. There's everything in here that you'd need to, uh, to do that. Um, frankly and Mira, what's going on? I haven't heard of the Axis Valhalla, man. I haven't heard of that. Anyway, so let's get straight onto it. So this is my fake skin. I'm just going to check this fits because I haven't actually checked prior to the video. It does fit just. All right. So the, the thing I like to do now is just get some washing up liquid and just clean. I don't dilute it. I just go straight on and just rub it into the area, just make sure it is fully, fully clean. Um, go over the area that you're obviously doing. It just takes away some of the grease, some of the oil from the factory and stuff like that. It just allows it to stick a bit better. Um, so yeah, just give it a nice old thing, nice old scrub. And then what I do is take some clean, dry, uh, tissue paper and the best stuff to use is plenty. I'm not sure if you've got that in America, but ple uh, um, Bounty Plenty, I think it is, um, is the best stuff to use. Now, just wipe that off. You can see it's coming off. You can see it just rubs off really nice and clean. Um, like so. It's actually coming away. So just make sure it's all nice and dry. And that is as clean as you're gonna get. Just stop that from shaking. That's as clean as you're gonna get. You can feel it's quite tacky now once it's proper dry. It's like really grippy. Um, so what I like to do is just make sure your gloves are all dry from the uh, from the uh, the washing up liquid. And the stuff I use is this anchored Nico Hurtado's anchored. Uh, please smash a like on the video, guys. I really appreciate this. This is going to be quite a short video because obviously I'm just... Um, don't touch the, the surface with it yet. And um, yeah, I just uh, like to shake this up, give it a good shake. Right now, this is the important part before you put this on this is just a, sl a small, small amount because it spreads. It doesn't soak into the skin so i would probably do like that for a big piece like this now for a portrait this is my stencil from the chris brown portrait i showed you um i would probably i would probably do that part there and then a bit like that around here so it evens it out um yeah and just and just rub it in rub it spread it around see if we can get the the shine you can see the shine a bit more just spread it around different directions. And I like to, I'm not really pressing too hard. You can see now that is that's pretty much the perfect amount when you can just see the direction of where you're, where you're going in the uh, in the source you've put on in the stencil stuff and then the trick is just to do it all one way so it's all fully covered you can see that's all fully covered I'm just brushing it like I would a tattoo right now and then just 
dab your, I like to take one glove off, just so I can. Now this is, this is very important. You have to commit, you cannot, um, you cannot, actually I'm, I'm gonna take both gloves off. You cannot move the stencil again. Once it's on, it's down. You have to just go with it. I need to just make sure I'm gonna miss that part. So that's cool. Oh dear, that's cool. And we go straight down. One, two, three, bang. Very, very gently just press down every part of the tattoo. Very, very gently. You have to make sure you, you've done every single line. Oh, I've gone over that bit. I fucking knew it. I bloody knew it. But anyway, it doesn't matter. You have to make sure you press every single line. And this, you'll start to see. You'll start to see this is now bubbling up a bit. So you're going to struggle. If it started to bubble up around here, it's it's shrinking because it's get it's it's getting wet. Try not to try not to push back over it because that's when you get the double lines. Now I'm going to lift this off and I hope this is fucking good because it's live. Very gently. Bang. And the dirt is gone. That's a beautiful beautiful thing. See? You can see that? Oh, it's just missed it. I'm probably going to take that bit out anyway. That's cool. Um, but yeah. And then what I do is just do not touch it. Don't do nothing to it. Don't touch it. And you just want to let that dry. So what, obviously it's still a bit glistening. Look, you, you can see it's all a bit glistening still. But you just want to not touch it. Um, and let it dry. What I would normally do now is just get a hair dryer. Um, actually, you know what? I can't do that because I've lost my hair dryer. I actually don't know where it is. It's in here somewhere, but I can't find it. But you get a hair dryer and just dry it. Um, just put some hot air over it and then just let it, let it sit. I'm going to leave this sit now on the kitchen side, just like this for 24 hours, just over 24 hours. If you really want the stencil to stay on, leave it for like two, three days. Um, the longer you leave it, the longer it will uh, stay on. Um, the Chris Brown portrait I left on for two weeks, three weeks, and that didn't budge. And, it, and until I found a, a solution, I couldn't, I couldn't um, budge that stencil. So it, this, I think, with fake skin, this is this is the the, the hardest thing to achieve um, is keeping the stencil on. Um, so yeah, I would literally leave this on now for twenty four hours, and uh, then when you're wiping away the the stencil, wi wipes on as well. Um, but yeah, I I would definitely leave it well over a day or two um, because it, yeah, it's the longer you keep it on, the longer it uh, the longer the stencil will stay on. If you leave it on for like a few hours, your it's it's gonna still be pretty easy to rub off. Um, and that and that's basically it, guys. That is it. Um, yeah, I think uh, you can get this. I'll stick in the description below. Um, that you can, um, that you, where you can get this fake stuff, this skin from, this is called real skin. It's the best skin I think in out, out, um, available on the market. <clears throat> um, so also you have to understand which side to put it on. I should have said that before. Let me just wipe the tiny bit around here. So it's not so glistening. So you can see what I'm about to say. Um, don't touch the stencil though, for God's sake, because it will just rub straight off. Um, so there's two sides to fake skin. You've got the, sh the shiny side and then you've got the rough side, like the, the matte side. You want to do it on the matte side. This is the side that emulates the skin. Um, the shiny side is just, it's, there's no way you're going to stick anything to that. It's not going to stick at all. Um, so yeah. So that's it. I appreciate all the uh, the love on the video, guys. Um, thank you for jo to, for tuning back in. Um, again, appreciate the love, and um, please smash that like button so other people can see. I've had a I've had a hell of a lot of people um, ask me about 
my stencil technique because <clears throat> especially on fake sim because it is very very hard to get off and they're like wow i can't believe it stayed on so good for you etc um just leave it on for a fair few hours um give it some heat from a, a hair dryer or something and uh, then just leave it for like 24 to 48 to 72 hours and it should be absolutely sweet um yeah appreciate the uh, the love guys and uh, I'll catch you in the next... I'll probably go live with this tomorrow. I'll leave it for 24 hours, uh, just a bit over 24 hours. So I'll go live at around 5 o'clock. So it's 5 o'clock now. Um, so I'll go live at 5 o'clock and show you how stuck this is. Um, and, uh, yeah, man. Cheers for watching. Appreciate it.